Okay, so there is a tutorial on the Helping Hands website that I'm going to be following. Um, here's the link to the members tab to the website and then all you have to do is click on see a Fusion 360 tutorial. Um, so I'm going to be following along that. Can everyone see my Fusion 360? Okay. Yeah, we can. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open your file. So I'm using the right hand from the Phoenix Unlimited design. So you just go up to here and hit open. And I'm going to open from my computer. And it's already on my desktop. OK, so it's done now. So let's say that we want to cut out the thumb part of this piece. Um, what we're going to want to do is to create a sketch on the bottom plane. And then we can either do a rectangle or a circle or um, any other shape that you want to cut out. But for now, we can just use a circle because it's pretty simple. So you click the middle and just drag out. So right here seems like that would be good. And then once you're happy with what your sketch looks like, um, just click Finish Sketch. And then you're going to hit the Extrude icon here under the Solid tab. And then it should automatically select the sketch that you just made. If it doesn't, you can just click on it. Um, and then you're going to drag the arrow up through the object. And it will know to cut through that piece. So all you have to do now is hit OK. Let it load. And then once it's loaded, um, you can look around and see that it took out the thumb part of this hand. So now that we've done this, we're going to want to save our file. And if you want to come back and edit it later, you can save it as a Fusion file. Um, but if you're done and this is your final product, what you're going to want to do is hit the file icon and hit 3D print. And what this does is it converts it to an STL file. So select the model that you want to export. And then it's going to automatically select send to a 3D print utility. And you don't need to do that. You can just unselect that and hit OK. And you get to name your file. So we can just name it newpalm.stl. So I'm going to save it onto my desktop. And it should go ahead and save for you. And now I'm going to share um, a different screen for Cura so we can look at the new file that we just made. Um, so let's see. OK, so here's Cura. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the new file we made. And it's going to be kind of big because I didn't scale it at all. So um, I can just make it 10%. And so here is the new file, and this is ready to be 3D printed. Um, so most of your hands aren't going to look exactly like this. Um, they're going to be a little bit more complicated, but this is just a simple um, design so you can get used to modeling. Um, and so if you have any questions, you can just email me or one of the other tech officers, and it should all of our emails should be on that um, tutorial PDF. And it should help you with a couple other common problems that you might run into. Um, so hopefully that helped everyone.